In this uh, video guide, I'll cover some uh, very basic collision questions. And for this very first problem, we have a four kilogram object moving due east at 15 meters per second, and it collides and sticks onto a 12 kilogram object moving due south at five meters per second. And we wanna figure out the resulting speed of the combined objects. Okay, so let's go ahead and start organizing our information here. So. Uh, we have two different objects. So the first one has a mass of four kilograms and its velocity is uh, 15 meters per second going in the east direction. So we can definitely find its momentum. So momentum is basically the mass times its velocity. So if I take my four kilograms and times it by the 15 meters per second, uh, we have a momentum of 60 kilograms dot meters per second. And the direction is going in the east direction here. Okay. Uh, now after that, we can now calculate the, the momentum of the second object. So the second object has a mass of 12 kilograms and its velocity is moving in the self direction at five meters per second. And let's go ahead and find this momentum here. So this momentum is gonna be mass times its velocity. And uh, for this case, we have 12 times five. And we also get uh, a magnitude of 60. The units are kilograms dot meters per second. And this direction is going in the self direction. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll, I'll label this P1 and I'll label this as P2. And since uh, these two objects will uh, stick together, we wanna find the resulting speed of the combined objects. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a vector diagram now. So if I go ahead and uh, create a vector diagram, so uh, we are going in the east direction for the first object. So I'll call this uh, P1. And then we're going south for our second direction, our second object. So the, se the second object is going in the self direction. So there's my vector diagram there. And then uh, we want to find the uh, resulting speed of the combined objects there, right? So if I go ahead and draw the, uh, the resultant here, um, basically the resultant will look like this from head to tail. And there is my uh, resultant right there. So if I go ahead and label this, I'll call this P2 with the vector hat, and I'll call this uh, P3, whoops, uh, P3 with the vector hat. Okay, and we know this equals to uh, 60 over here. We know this equals to 60 because we calculated it. And what we need to do now is we want to find the magnitude of this uh, combined uh, momentum right here. So what we need to do now is we need to set the Pythagorean theorem. So if I wanna find the magnitude of a uh, vector P3, momentum, the third momentum here, I can write this as P3 to the power two equals to P1 to the power two plus P2 to the power two. All right, so we're just dealing with the momentum here. So this is P3 to the power two, and uh, this is gonna be a 60 squared plus another 60 squared. Okay, so uh, if we go ahead and just uh, 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 go at our calculator now, and if we add those uh, two numbers together, um, we get a combined number of 7,200, and then we can take the square root of both sides, so the momentum, the combined momentum here has a value of 84.853 kilograms dot meters per second. Okay, so now we wanna find the resulting speed, right? So we know momentum is equal to mass times its uh, velocity, or in this case, speed. And we just figured out that the combined momentum was 84.853. Now, if I look at the combined mass here, the combined mass is simply gonna be the four kilograms plus the 12 kilograms. And then we wanna find the resulting speed here. Okay, so now we have 84.853. Uh, four plus 12 is gonna be 16, so 16 times the speed. And then speed is essentially uh, 84.853 divided by 16, and that gives us an answer of 5.303 meters per second. All right, so that is the resulting speed of the combined objects. Here's another similar uh, collision problem with different numbers. Uh, in this case, now we have a two kilogram object moving at 15 meters per second due east, and then it collides with a 100 kilogram block moving at 15 meters per second due north. 
Now the objects stick together following the collision and we want to find the speed of the 200 kilogram object immediately after the, after the collision here. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect some information here. So the first object has a mass of 200 kilograms and its velocity is 15 meters per second due east. So let's write down uh, 15. And then we can also find its momentum. So I'll label this as P1. So the momentum is just mass times its velocity. And the mass here is gonna be 200. And the velocity is 15 meters per second going in the east direction. So if I multiply that out, uh, we get um, 3000 kilograms times meters per second. And this is going in the east direction. Uh, after that, let's go ahead and find the uh, momentum for the second object. So the second object has a mass of 100 kilograms, right? So the second mass has a mass of 100 kilograms, and its velocity is going 15 meters per second due north. And let's go ahead and find the, its momentum. Its momentum. So P2 is uh, mass times its velocity, and this would be 100 times 15. And the momentum for the second object is going to be uh, 1,500 kilograms dot meters per second and this one is going in the north direction okay so now that we have our uh, our second momentum vector and our first momentum vector here let's go ahead and create a vector diagram now so we have a vector going in the east direction and we also have a vector going in the north direction okay so if i go ahead and draw the vector going the east direction perhaps it looks like this and i'll label that uh, p1 with a hat on there and this is equal to 3,000. The magnitude is 3,000. And then we have a vector going in the north direction now. Like that. And I'll label this uh, P2 with the vector there. And this is equal to 1,500. And then we need our resulting vector here, right? So uh, here's my resulting vector right there. And I'll label that as P3. Okay, so uh, based on this vector diagram, we're basically saying that uh, vector three, the, uh, the third momentum is really equal to vector one plus the second vector, the second momentum vector there. So that is our diagram right there. Okay, so now we want to find the magnitude of this combined momentum there. So we want to use the Pythagorean theorem here. So I'm going to just get rid of the, uh, the vector symbols now because I'm dealing with uh, just the magnitude here. So if I want to find this third momentum, I can square that. And that equals to the um, 3,000 squared. And then we're going to add that to the 1,500 momentum of the second vector all squared. So there's the Pythagorean theorem right there. And then let's go ahead if we can uh, uh, calculate the numbers here. Go into a calculator here. So uh, go to a calculator here and you should get uh, 1.125 times 10 to the power of 7. So a pretty big number there. And then we want to take the square root of this side and the square root of that side. And then we get the uh, momentum of the third uh, of the third vector here. And that's going to be uh, 3,354.102 kilograms times meters per second. So that is the magnitude of the third momentum there. Now we know that momentum is really equal to the mass times its velocity. So we now know the momentum is 3,354.102, and that equals to the combined mass, right? So what is the combined mass here? Well, the combined mass here is really the 200 kilograms plus the 100 kilograms, because that's moving together. And then we're going to times that by um, the speed, which is V. Okay, so now we have 3,354. 0.102 and that equals to 300 times its speed and really the speed is really the 3,354.102 and we just divide that by 300. Okay so then we get a speed of 11.18 meters per second. All right so very similar to the previous problem we're just uh, changing up the numbers. Here's uh, one last uh, collision problem. So I feel like all the collision problems in this uh, video are very similar. We're just changing up the numbers and the directions here. So this uh, question is another uh, similar question. And uh, now we have a 1200 kilogram truck traveling at 9.6 meters per second due south. And it runs into a 850 kilogram car traveling at 15 meters per second due west. And the two vehicles stick together after they collide. And we want to find the speed 
with what speed does the combined mass move immediately after the collision here? Okay, so uh, just by looking at this diagram right here, uh, we can see uh, which direction the truck and car are moving. Uh, let's go ahead and find the uh, momentum for the truck here. So I'll call this P1, and momentum is really the mass times its velocity. And the mass is uh, 1,200 kilograms here, and the velocity is 9.6 meters per second in the self direction. So I'll write down this as write this as 9.6. And if I go ahead and calculate that, this momentum here is 11520 uh, kilograms times meters per second, and this is going in the uh, self direction. All right. So this is the uh, momentum of the truck, or the first momentum vector there, P1. And then after that, let's calculate the uh, second momentum here. I'll label this P2, which is just the mass of the car times its velocity. And this mass is now 850, and the velocity is 50 meters per second going in the west direction. And if I go ahead and calculate that, I get uh, 12750 kilograms dot meters per second. And we'll say that this is going in the, um, in the west direction there. Okay, so uh, there you go. Those are my two um, momentum vectors there. And now we will cl uh, create a vector diagram here by adding P1 and P2. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and um, create a vector diagram here. So uh, here is, um, okay, let me just kind of think about this. Maybe I'll label this as P1. Okay, so this is a P1. And that was equal to uh, 11520. And then we have another vector going in the uh, west direction like, uh, like this. And I'll call that uh, momentum vector two. And that was equal to 12750. And then if I add these vectors from, uh, from head to tail here, we have a resulting vector, which is the combined momentum here. I'll call that P3 again. Right, so this is my vector diagram if I add all the vectors from head to tail here. And if I want to find the magnitude of this third combined momentum here, I need to use the Pythagorean theorem one more time. Okay, so if I want to use the Pythagorean theorem here, uh, if I just kind of ignore the vector symbols now, let's just go ahead and write uh, P3 to the power of 2. And that's going to equal to, uh, I'll put this in brackets now, 11520, the first momentum vector to the power of 2, plus the magnitude of the second momentum, which is uh, 12750 to the power of 2. And then uh, now we have our third momentum on the left-hand side to the power of 2. Uh, this is going to equal to um, roughly 2.953 times 10 to the power of 8. And then we want to find the square root of both sides. Okay, And that will give us the magnitude of the third momentum there. And the magnitude of the third momentum is 17183.51 kilograms dot meters per second. So that's the magnitude of the third momentum. And we know that momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity. And now we figured out the momentum was 17183.51. And the combined mass here was the... Uh, well, we had the truck, which was 1,200 kilograms, and then we add that to the car, which is 850 kilograms, and then we have uh, the resulting uh, speed here, so times that by V. Okay, and uh, let's just go ahead and crunch out the numbers here, 17183.51, and then we have uh, 1,200 plus the 850, we get uh, 2,050 times the speed. Now the speed is now equal to 171. 83.51 and we divide that by 2050. Okay. And then with that, the resulting speed here is going to be 8.382 meters per second. Okay. So that is the uh, resulting speed here.